Dear friends, welcome to his American Center. Take your practical grammar book. It's in the page number 273 to 276 and video number 106, the chapter 24, 21. Kinds of living, living places. The human beings live. Human beings like me and you, people like uh, different parts of the world, almost 600 crore people are there. They live in places. The place where we, where they live or where we live, we categorize into different, uh, uh, different words. What are they? Already we have seen nine. Now we have come here to the tenth vocabulary of living place of human beings. It is called cottage a cot. What do you mean by cottage a cot? A small living hut is called cottage or ha cot. Poor people in slums live in cottages. Poor people in uh, slum. Slum means what? A place where most of the daily wage earners, people who are struck with poverty, people who are migrators, who come from village to cities, they do all type of mean work, ordinary work. They are called, they, the place where they live is called slum. And small cottages means small huts. So, harem, harem means what? A play private for women. A place private for women, it is called harem. It is only meant for females. Not for any male should come. In the king's palaces, in Tamil they call it as andapuram. It is meant only for the queens. It is meant for only for the females. No male are allowed to go to that place. In the king's palaces, we see Harems. Harems means it is meant only for females. No men should go there. Bungalow. It's a commonly used word, bungalow. One floored house. A house is there, only one floor is there. It is called bungalow. We live in a bungalow in Chennai. In Chennai, we live in bungalow means one storied house. Geometry. 13th word, geometry. A place for many to rest and sleep, a place for many of them rest and sleep in a hall, it is called a dormitory. In school hostel, I lived in a dormitory, dormitory. Then, 14th word, granch, a farmhouse. In the farm, you have a house, it is called grange. We have granges in our farms. In our farms, we have a place where we can stay. Hospice, the 15th vocabulary, 15th living place word is hospice, a place where the destitute and houseless stay. The orphans, the age old people who don't have homes and the children who are left in the streets, they are put into a place called a destitute or houseless stay. So hospice means a place for the for the orphans to stay. Skyscraper, 16th word is skyscraper. Tall building with many floors. A tall building with many floors. For example, in Chennai, LIZ, Jain buildings, you can say skyscraper. Huge building, tall building with 10 floors, 20 floors, 30 floors. Now, even 100 floors you have got. In Mumbai, we find many skyscrapers. In Mumbai, we find many, how many, many buildings which goes up and up and up. Monastery, a place for the Buddhist male monks to stay. A place where the Buddhist male monks, male priests stay is called monastery. Many monasteries are there in Nepal. Nepal is a country you find many Buddhist monasteries. Penitentiary, a prison for small crimes, a prison for small, small crimes like pick packet and abusing, insulting, creating a scene, public nuisance. Penitentiary, there are only two penitentiary in Chennai, only two uh, jails for small, small thefts are there in Chennai. How well, a small hut is called how well. Many saints live in hovels. Many people who dedicate their life for godly god men, they are called saints, they live in hovel. So, cottage or cart, harem, bungalow, geometry,
Grange, Hospice, Skyscraper, Monastery, Dentary, Hovel. And coming here, Lodge, 30th word, living place, Lodge, a temporary place to stay. We stayed in a lodge, a temporary place where you stay and go. It is called Lodge. Shanty, a cabin. Cabin means a small room, a small place. In Mumbai, we lived in Shanty, a small cabin. Yard, what do you mean by yard? At the open place near the house. Your house is there, there will be an open place. It is called yard, where you park your car, where sometimes you grow vegetables. So, the open place near the house is called yard. My children were playing in the yard. So my children were playing in the open place in front of my house or in back of my house, backyard or front yard. Threshold, the step at the entrance. Whenever you go into a home, whenever you go into a house, there will be some steps. The first step before entering the house. It is called threshold. The bride, the girl who is going to get married or the girl who got married, the bride is supposed to keep her right foot at the threshold. Whenever the married girl comes to the house, she has to put her right leg in the steps. That is called threshold of her in-law's house when she first comes to her in-law's house. So she has to uh, put her right leg, her right foot uh, at the steps entrance. So threshold is the step. Balcony, a resting or relaxing place which is from the wall of the building. A wall is there in the building. So the resting place next to the wall, side to the wall. It is called balcony. I was relaxing in my balcony, so I was just relaxing myself in the adjoining place of the wall. Garage, car parking place is called garage. I park my car in the garage, in the car parking area. Garage is the car parking area. Pantry, a place where we keep the provisions like rice, wheat, sugar, where we keep our rice, vegetable items. And cooking items, provisions is called pantry. The pantry in our house is full. So the provisions or the cooking items which we keep in a room is full. The pantry is a place where you keep your cooking items or provisional items. House, a place to stay. We have a house in Bangalore. We have a house in Bangalore. Home, the staying place with love and affection. House is something built, built with stones and cement and mud. And I am pieces, but home is full of love and affection, a place where there is love and affection. So, we celebrated Diwali in our home, not in our house. Thatched roof or thatch, the roof made of straw. What do you mean by straw? You know that. Hmm? Uh, the, uh, the plants, after taking uh, the crop, it is uh, kept in the dry sun so that it becomes hard. That is called straw, thatched roof or ta the roof made of straw, that is straw. Poor people's cottage roofs are made of thatched roof. So poor people's uh, uh, cottage, the roof is made of the straw. Porch, portico is called porch, portico. The entrance of an house or an office, the entrance of an house. The entrance of an office, it is called port porch, portico. I parked my car at the Portico of his house. Portico means the entrance, entrance. So, my dear friends, yeah, large shanty, yard, threshold, balcony, garage, pantry, house, home, thatched roof, porch. Once again, cottage or hot, cot means small living hut, harem, a place where the women stay, in, especially in palaces, bungalow, one floored house, dormitory, a place for many to rest and sleep, grandeur, a farmhouse, hospice, a place where the destitute or orphans or homeless people stay and uh, 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 skyscraper tall buildings like 20 floor 30 floor monastery a place where the buddhist monks stay pentinary a prison for small crimes hovel a small hut and uh, lodge a temporary place you stay shanty a cabin is a small room yard the open place near your house Threshold, the stepping into, into your house, the steps. Uh, balcony, uh, in the wall, the side of the wall. Garage, car parking place. Pantry, where you keep the wheat, rice and vegetable items, provisions. House, a place to stay. Home, a place with love and affection. 
thatched roof or thatched. Uh, the roof is made of straw, parch, the particle. Hope you are able to understand. Now coming into Tamil version. Chapter Padam Kinds of Living Places Walum Vita Vitamana Yedangal Human Beings Live Mani Dirgal Wala Kudi and the Yedangal Nodi Pairkle Park Kriegal Video Nuti Are Cartage are cart cartage and all in there are they could say in to sol virgal a small living heart walum or could say poor people live in slums live in cottages up a slum in dal cherry hill in the cherry hill in dal in there nerea could say little comes nala vasadigal tani vasadigal lily sali vasadigal lily velayada adam in lay tani tani arakal in lay tani relay are the slums in the sol virgal poor people in slums live in cottages up a seri lilka kudi a makal hell and the kudise ile valkir arkal cottage and all kudise harem and all on the puram a play place private for women pengal tangal irka kudi a tani yedam adur totamaka ange vidgalake balhi in pin puram irkum harem and all on the puram in the king's palaces we see harems rajakal mode aran manahilil nam aran nam and the Purangalai Parchiram Bungalow, one floored house, Urmadi Vite, Bangala and Sulikirikal. We live in a bungalow in Chennai. Chennai lay Urmadi Vite lay Kudirikiram. Damitri Padimunde, a place for many to rest and sleep. Anekam bear, Oived the Tunga Kudia, Uraile, Bihapiri Araile, Araya, Dormitory and Sulikirikal. In school hostel, we lived in a dormitory. Pali Node, Vidhile Nankal, Dormitory lay Tangir and Dub. Peria Hall and Gay Palamana were held Tangi in Darkal. Grange Padinale, a farm house, thought a vide. We have granges in our farm, single thought and galile, weed hill irik in Dana. Hospice in Daline, a place where the destitute and houseless stay. Destitute in Daline, Kaivida Patamakal, houseless in Dal, weed, illa, our hill, bala kudi, edate. Hospice in the Sulkirigal. Skyscraper, sky and dal barnum scrapper and dal barnum they thought to irka kudia katid and gal tall building with many floors mega period of yaman katid and gal pala madical oraya katidam in mumbai mumbai le we find many skyscrapers mega period of one alabia katid and galipa club monastery padin in k a place for the buddhist male monks to say up a buddha buddha mother Turavikal, An Turavikal, Tanga Kudi Adate, Monastery and the Sulikirikal. Many monasteries are there in Nepal, Nepal, Ile Pale, Buddha Sam Yarkal, Tanga Kudi, and the Yerangal Ulene, Pentiri and Rale, prison for small crimes. Sirisir Kutrangal Kahe, Nirua Pata, Sirichare Chale. There are only two pentries in Chennai, Chennai, Yerende, Yerende, Sir Kutrangal Kahe, Ula Serai, Kurangal Irikindane. Hovel, Siru Kuduse, a small hut. Many saints live in Hovels. Aneka Turabigal, and the Siru Kuduse, Valhirakal. Cottage, Siru Kuduse, Hera Mandapuram, Bangala, Urma Divide, Dormitory, Arekembe, Tanga Kudia, or Mikapiri Are, Grange, or Tota Vide, Hospice, Anarikal, Vidilla, the Burkal Tanga Kudiadam, Skyscraper, Vanalavia Katadam, Monastery, Buddha Turabigal, Tanga Kudiadam. Pentary, Sir Sir Kutangal Kahe, Nurva Patas, Ray Charlie, Hovel, Sir Kudise, Lodge, a temporary place to stay. Tarkali Hamaha, Yirund Tangi, Chella Kudi, Yarate, Lodge, we stayed in a lodge. Shanty, a cabin, Uru Are. In Mumbai, we lived in a shanty. Mumbai lay in Angle, Sir Are, lay Tangi Rundum. Yard, the open place near the house. Beat Nodi, a Munpuram, Teran, the Viliakar Kudi Adam. We took a pin for a terran the Viliakirka Kudiadam, Ange thought a Kai Herikilai Podalam, Allah the Minadi, Witten Minadi or Viliata, Rangamaka to Kolalam, Yard, Tiran the Vili. My children were playing in the yard, Yenode, a column they held Witten Minadi, Yirka Kudi and the Tiran the Vilile, Vilayadi Kundurun Darkal, Yard, Threshold, the step at the entrance, Vasa Paddy, Wire Paddy, We took Munadi Varakudi and there, Paddy a threshold into Solikirakal. The bride is supposed to keep her right. Bride and all in a manamakal, Tirumanamana or pin, 
அவள் தன்னுடைய வலது காலை ரைட் ஃபுட் அட் த த்ரெஷோல் வாசப்படியிலே வைக்க வேண்டும் ஆஃபர் இன் லாஸ் தன்னுடைய மாமனார் மாமியார் வீட்டிலே வென் ஷி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கம்ஸ் டு அவர் இன் லாஸ் ஹவுஸ் எப்பொழுதே ஒரு திருமணமான பெண் தன்னுடைய புகுந்த வீட்டிற்கு வருகிறாளோ அப்பொழுது அவளுடைய வலது காலை த்ரெஷோல்டு வாசப்படி மேல் காலை வைத்து வர வேண்டும் பால்கனி என்றால் என்ன ஏ ரெஸ்டிங் ஓய்வெடுக்கக்கூடிய இடம் விச் இஸ் ஃப்ரம் த வால் ஆஃப் த பில்டிங் சுவர் இருக்கிறதே அந்த சுவற்றிலிருந்து அந்த சுவற்றிலிருந்து பக்கத்தில் இருக்கக்கூடிய இடம் அது மாடியாக இருக்கலாம் கீழாக இருக்கலாம் சுவற்றிலிருந்து பக்கத்தில் இருக்கக்கூடிய இடத்தை பால்கனி என்று சொல்கிறோம் ஐ வாஸ் ரிலாக்ஸிங் இன் மை பால்கனி அப்போ சுவர் என்றால் வீட்டின் வெளிப்புறம் இருக்கக்கூடிய சுவர் அந்த சுவற்றுக்கு பக்கத்தில் இருக்கக்கூடியதை பால்கனி என்று சொல்கிறாய் கேரேஜ் கார் பார்க்கிங் பிளேஸ் காரை நிறுத்தக்கூடிய இடத்தை கேரேஜ் என்று சொல்கிறாய் ஐ பார்க் மை கார் இந்த கேரேஜ் என்னுடைய காரை நான் கார் நிறுத்தக்கூடிய அந்த அறையிலே வைத்தேன் கா கேரேஜ் என்றால் கார் நிறுத்தக்கூடிய இடம் பேண்ட்ரி என்றால் பிளேஸ் வேர் வி கீப் த ப்ரொவிஷன்ஸ் ப்ரொவிஷன்ஸ் என்றால் என்ன மளிகை ஜாமான்கள் அரிசி வீட் கோதுமை சுகர் சர்க்கரை இதையெல்லாம் வைக்கக்கூடிய இடத்தை பேண்ட்ரி என்று சொல்கிறோம் த பேண்ட்ரி இன் அவர் ஹவுஸ் இஸ் ஃபுல் வீட்டிலே மளிகை ஜாமானம் வைக்கக்கூடிய அந்த இடம் நிரம்பி விட்டது ஹவுஸ் என்றால் என்ன பிளேஸ் டு ஸ்டே வி ஹேவ் அன் ஹவுஸ் இன் பெங்களூர் பெங்களூரிலே எங்களுக்கு செங்கலாலும் சிமெண்டாலும் கட்டப்பட்ட ஒரு வீடு இருக்கிறது ஹோம் த ஸ்டேயிங் பிளேஸ் வித் லவ் அண்ட் அஃபெக்ஷன் அன்பும் பாசமும் நிறைந்த ஒரு வீட்டை இல்லம் என்று சொல்கிறோம் ஹோம் என்றால் இல்லம் வி செலிப்ரேட்டட் தீபாவளி இன் அவர் ஹோம் நாங்கள் தீபாவளியை எங்களுடைய இல்லத்தில் செலவழித்தோம் டேச் ரூஃப் ஃபார் டேச் என்றால் என்ன கூரை புல் மேய்ந்த கூரை புல்லால் மேய்ந்த கூரை த ரூஃப் மேட் ஆஃப் ஸ்ட்ரா ஸ்ட்ரா என்றால் புல் காய்ந்த புல் புவர் பீப்புள்ஸ் காட்டேஜ் ரூஃப் ஆர் மேட் ஆஃப் டேச் ரூஃப் ஏழை மக்களுடைய கொடிசை அந்த கூரை அது புல் காய்ந்த புல் காய்ந்த காய்ந்த என்ன சொல்லுவீங்க காய்ந்த காய்ந்த செடி கொடிகள் மூலமாக வைக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிறது பார்ச் பார்ட்டிகோ போர்டிகோ என்றால் என்ன திறந்த வெளி த என்ட்ரன்ஸ் ஆஃப் என் ஹவுஸ் ஆர் என் ஆஃபீஸ் ஒரு அலுவலகம் அல்லது ஒரு ஆஃபீஸினுடைய அந்த முன்பக்க இடத்தை போர்ச் அல்லது போர்டிகோ என்று சொல்கிறாய் ஐ பார்க் மை கார் அட் த போர்டிகோ ஆஃப் இஸ் ஹவுஸ் அவனுடைய வீட்டினுடைய முன் முன்னாடி திறந்த வெளியிலே என் காரை வைத்தேன் பார்ச் ஸோ நண்பர்களே இப்பொழுது முதலிருந்து பார்க்கிறோம் காட்டேஜ் என்றால் குடிசை ஹேரம் என்றால் அந்த புறம் பங்களா என்றால் ஒரு மாடி வீடு டாமின்ட்ரி பெரிய அறை அங்கே நிறைய பேர் தங்கக்கூடியவர்கள் கிராஞ்ச் ஒரு தோட்ட வீடு ஹாஸ்பைஸ் அனாதைகளும் வீடற்றோரும் தங்கக்கூடிய இடம் ஸ்கை ஸ்கிராப்பர் வானலாவிய கட்டிடங்கள் மொனாஸ்ட்ரி புத்த துறவிகள் தங்கக்கூடிய இடம் பென்டரி சிறு குற்றங்களுக்காக நிறுவப்பட்ட சிறைச்சாலை ஹாவெல் சிறு குடிசை லாஜ் தற்காலிகமாக தங்கி செல்லக்கூடிய இடம் ஷாண்டி ஒரு அறை யார்ட் திறந்த வெளி த்ரெஷோல் வீட்டின் வாசப்படி பேல்கனி சோவற்றிலிருந்து தொட்டி இருக்கக்கூடிய இடம் கேரேஜ் காரை நிறுத்தக்கூடிய இடம் பேன்ட்ரி மளிகை ஜாமான்கள் வைக்கக்கூடிய இடம் ஹவுஸ் செங்கலாலும் மண்ணாலும் கட்டப்பட்ட ஒரு வீடு ஹோம் அன்பும் பாசமும் நிறைந்த ஒரு இல்லம் டேச் ரூஃப் அப புல்லால் மேயப்பட்ட ஒரு வீடு பாட் வீட்டினுடைய முன்னாடி திறந்த வெளி ஸோ நண்பர்களே இந்த வீடு மனிதர்கள் தங்கக்கூடிய இடம் அதனுடைய ஒகேபிளரியை மொத்தம் முப்பது பார்த்திருக்கள் இனி வரக்கூடிய வீடியோக்களில் மற்றதை பார்ப்போம் நமஸ்காரம் வெல்கம் டு எய்ட் அமெரிக்கன் ஸ்போக்கன் இங்கிலீஷ் சென்டர் இன் சென்னை திஸ் இஸ் இங்கிலீஷ் மலையாளம் வேர்ஷன் நம்ம கண்டுகொண்டிருக்கிற பிராக்டிக்கல் கிராமர் புக்கிலே சாப்டர் டுவெண்ட்டி ஒன் சாப்டர் டுவெண்ட்டி ஒன்னில் கைண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் லிவிங் பிளேசஸ் ஹியூமன் பீங்ஸ் லிவ் இன்னும் நமக்கு பேஜ் நம்பர் 273 to 276 നോക്കാം വീഡിയോ നമ്പർ 106 ചാപ്റ്റർ 21 നമ്മൾ കണ്ടുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് കൈൻസ് ഓഫ് ലീവിംഗ് പ്ലേസസ് അതായത് നമ്മൾ താമസിക്കാൻ ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്ന പല സ്ഥലങ്ങൾ അവക്ക് ഇംഗ്ലീഷിലുള്ള പേരുകൾ അത്തരത്തിൽ 9 പേരുകൾ നമ്മൾ കണ്ടു ഇത് 10ാമത്തേതാണ് നോക്കാം കോട്ടേജ് ഓർ കോട്ട് കോട്ടേജ് എന്നാൽ എ സ്മോൾ ലീവിംഗ് ഹട്ട് ഒരു ചെറിയ ഇടം താമസിക്കാനുള്ള ഒരു ചെറിയ ഹട്ട് ഹട്ട് എന്നാൽ ചെറിയൊരു സ്ഥലം എക്സാമ്പിൾ പുവർ പീപ്പിൾ ഇൻ സ്ലംസ് ലിവ് ഇൻ കോട്ടേജസ് പുവർ പീപ്പിൾ ഇൻ സ്ലംസ് സ്ലംസ് എന്നാൽ ചേരികൾ അതായത് യാതൊരു തരത്തിലുള്ള 
സൗകര്യങ്ങളും ഇല്ലാതെ എല്ലാവരും ഒരുമിച്ച് തങ്ങുന്ന ഒരിടം അതിനാണ് നമ്മൾ ചേരികൾ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് പുവർ പീപ്പിൾ ഇൻ സ്ലംസ് ലിവ് ഇൻ കോട്ടേജസ് പാവപ്പെട്ട ചേരിയിലെ ആളുകൾ കോട്ടേജസിലാണ് ജീവിക്കുന്നത് നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ഹാരം ഹാരം മീൻസ് എ പ്ലേസ് പ്രൈവറ്റ് ഫോർ വിമൻ സ്ത്രീകൾക്ക് വേണ്ടിയുള്ള ഒരു പ്രത്യേക ഇടം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അവർക്ക് ഒരു സ്വകാര്യമായ ഒരു ഇടം കൊടുത്തിരിക്കുന്നു അതിനാണ് നമ്മൾ ഹാരം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് അരമന അതായത് കൊട്ടാരങ്ങളിൽ നമ്മൾ കാണുന്ന അരമന പോലെ ഇടങ്ങൾ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഇൻ ദ കിങ്സ് പാലസസ് വി സി ഹാരം ഇൻ കിങ്സ് പാലസസ് കൊട്ടാരങ്ങളിൽ നമുക്ക് ധാരാളം ഹാരംസ് കാണാൻ സാധിക്കും നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ബംഗ്ലോ ബംഗ്ലോ മീൻസ് വൺ ഫ്ലോഡ് ഹൗസ് ഒരു വൺ ഫ്ലോഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ഒരു നില മാത്രമുള്ള ഒരു വലിയ വീട് അതിനാണ് നമ്മൾ ബംഗ്ലോ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് എക്സാമ്പിൾ വി ലിവ് ഇൻ എ ബംഗ്ലോ ഇൻ ചെന്നൈ ചെന്നൈയിൽ ഞങ്ങൾ ഒരു ബംഗ്ലാവിലാണ് താമസിക്കുന്നത് നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ഡോർമിറ്ററി ഡോർമിറ്ററി മീൻസ് എ പ്ലേസ് ഫോർ മെനി ടു റെസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് സ്ലീപ്പ് ഒരുപാട് പേർക്ക് ഒരുമിച്ച് വിശ്രമിക്കാനും ഉറങ്ങാനും ഉള്ള സ്ഥലം അതിനാണ് നമ്മൾ ഡോമിറ്ററി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഇൻ സ്കൂൾ ഹോസ്റ്റൽ ഐ ലിവ് ഇൻ എ ഡോമിറ്ററി സ്കൂൾ ഹോസ്റ്റൽ അവിടെ ധാരാളം കുട്ടികളുണ്ട് എല്ലാവരെയും ഒരുമിച്ച് ഒരു സ്ഥലം കൊടുത്തിരിക്കുന്നു അവർ കഴി വിശ്രമിക്കുന്നതും ഉറങ്ങുന്നതും എല്ലാം ആ ഒരു സ്ഥലത്താണ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ഗ്രേജ് ഗ്രേജ് മീൻസ് എ ഫാം ഹൗസ് ഒരു തോട്ടത്തിനിടയിലുള്ള വീട് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു വലിയ തോട്ടത്തിന് നടുവില്ല വീട് അതിനാണ് നമ്മൾ ഗ്രേഞ്ച് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് എക്സാമ്പിൾ വി ഹാവ് ഗ്രേഞ്ചസ് ഇൻ അവർ ഫാംസ് തോട്ടങ്ങളിൽ നമുക്ക് ഇത്തരത്തിലുള്ള വീടുകൾ കാണാൻ സാധിക്കും അതിനാണ് നമ്മൾ ഗ്രേഞ്ചസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ഹോസ്പൈസ് ഹോസ്പൈസ് മീൻസ് എ പ്ലേസ് വെർ ദ ഡെസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ആൻഡ് ഹൗസ്ലെസ് സ്റ്റേ അതായത് വീടില്ലാത്തവർ അനാഥർ അനാഥ കുട്ടികൾ മാതാപിതാക്കൾ ഉപേക്ഷിച്ച വൃദ്ധജനങ്ങൾ അങ്ങനെയുള്ള പല പല ആളുകൾ താമസിക്കുന്ന വീട് സ്വന്തമായി ഇല്ലാത്ത ആളുകൾ താമസിക്കുന്ന ഇടത്തിനാണ് നമ്മൾ ഹോസ്പൈസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ സ്കൈ സ്ക്രാപ്പർ സ്കൈ സ്ക്രാപ്പർ എന്നാൽ ടോൾ ബിൽഡിംഗ് വിത്ത് മെനി ഫ്ലോർസ് അമ്പര ചുംബികൾ അതായത് ഒത്തിരി പൊക്കമുള്ള അധികം ഉയരമുള്ള കെട്ടിടങ്ങൾ ടോൾ ബിൽഡിംഗ് വിത്ത് മെനി ഫ്ലോർസ് ധാരാളം നിലകളുള്ള ഇൻ മുംബൈ വി ഫൈൻ മെനി സ്കൈ സ്ക്രാപ്പേഴ്സ് മുംബൈയിൽ നമുക്ക് ഇത്തരത്തിലുള്ള അനേകം അമ്പര ചുംബികളായ കെട്ടിടങ്ങൾ കാണാൻ സാധിക്കും നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ മോണസ്ട്രി മോണസ്ട്രി മീൻസ് എ പ്ലേസ് ഫോർ ദ ബുദ്ധിസ്റ്റ് മെയിൽ മോങ്സ് ടു സ്റ്റേ ബുദ്ധിസ്റ്റ് മെയിൽ മോങ്സ് ബുദ്ധമത ബുദ്ധമതത്തിൽ പുരുഷന്മാർ പുരുഷന്മാരായ സന്യാസികൾ താമസിക്കുന്ന അല്ലെങ്കിൽ തങ്ങുന്ന ഇടം അതിനാണ് നമ്മൾ മോണസ്ട്രി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് എക്സാമ്പിൾ മെനി മോണസ്ട്രീസ് ആർ ദെയർ ഇൻ നേപ്പാൾ നേപ്പാൾ എന്നുള്ള രാജ്യത്ത് ബുദ്ധമതമാണ് കൂടുതൽ അവിടെയുള്ള മോണസ്ട്രികൾ നമുക്ക് ധാരാളമായി കാണാൻ സാധിക്കും നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ പെനിറ്ററി പെനിറ്ററി എന്നാൽ എ പ്രിസൺ ഫോർ സ്മോൾ ക്രൈസ് ചെറിയ ചെറിയ കുറ്റങ്ങൾ ചെയ്തവരെ പാർപ്പിക്കുന്ന ഇടം അതായത് പബ്ലിക് നോയിസൻസ് ഉണ്ടാക്കുക അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ചെറിയ ചെറിയ കളവുകൾ മോഷണങ്ങൾ കുറ്റങ്ങളെല്ലാം ചെയ്യുന്ന അത്തരക്കാരെ താമസിക്കുന്ന ഇടമാണ് പെൻറ്ററി ദെയർ ആർ ഓൺലി ടു പെൻറ്ററീസ് ഇൻ ചെന്നൈ ചെന്നൈയിൽ ഇത്തരത്തിലുള്ള രണ്ട് ജയിലുകൾ നമുക്ക് കാണാൻ സാധിക്കും നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ഹോവൽ ഹോവൽ മീൻസ് എ സ്മോൾ ഹട്ട് ഒരു ചെറിയ കുടിൽ എന്നുള്ളതാണ് ഹോവൽ മെനി സെയിൻസ് ലീവ് ഇൻ ഹോവൽ ധാരാളം സന്യാസിമാർ ജീവിക്കുന്നത് ഇത്തരത്തിലുള്ള ചെറിയ കുടിലുകളിലാണ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ലോഡ്ജ് ലോഡ്ജ് എന്നാൽ എ ടെമ്പററി പ്ലേസ് ടു സ്റ്റേ എക്സാമ്പിൾ വി സ്റ്റേ ഇൻ എ ലോഡ്ജ് ഒരു ടെമ്പററി ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു താത്കാലിക ഇടം തങ്ങാനുള്ള താത്കാലിക ഇടം ഷാൻഡി മീൻസ് എ ക്യാബിൻ തിരിച്ചു കൊടുത്തിരിക്കുന്നു ഒരു ചെറിയൊരു ഭാഗം ഒരാൾക്ക് താമസിക്കാൻ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ കുറച്ച് പേർക്ക് താമസിക്കാൻ തിരിച്ചു കൊടുത്തിരിക്കുന്നു ഇൻ മുംബൈ വി ലീവ് ഇൻ എ ഷാൻഡി ഷാൻഡി എന്നാൽ ഒരു ചെറിയ ഇടം യാഡ് യാഡ് മീൻസ് ദ ഓപ്പൺ പ്ലേസ് നിയർ ദ ഹൗസ് വീടിന്റെ മുറ്റത്തുള്ള തുറന്ന സ്ഥലം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ മുറ്റം പുറകവശത്തും മുൻവശത്തുമായി കാണപ്പെടുന്ന തുറന്ന പ്രദേശം മൈ ചിൽഡ്രൻ വെർ പ്ലേയിങ് ഇൻ ദ യാഡ് എന്റെ കുട്ടികൾ മുറ്റത്ത് കളിക്കുകയാണ് ത്രഷോൾഡ് ത്രഷോൾഡ് എന്നാൽ ദ സ്റ്റെപ്പ് അറ്റ് ദ എൻട്രൻസ് വീടിന്റെ വാതിൽ പടി അതായത് കടന്നു വരുമ്പോൾ കാണുന്ന വാതിൽ പടി ദ ബ്രൈഡ് ഈസ് സപ
from the wall of the building. Oru cheriya turanna idam. Tamada vidinde bhitiyo oru cherna oru cheriya idam. Namukka relaxian. Jis ramikya na lam kodi thiri kina I was relaxing in my balcony. Yaan in the balcony il jis ramikyo gaya idam. Garage. Garage means car parking area. Car parking place. Car park in nenu la idam. Example. I parked my car in the garage. Next one. Pantry. Pantry means a place where we keep the provisions like rice, wheat, sugar, etc. Ari, Panjasara, Godamba, Tudanga, Vastukala, Sushik in Adam, and then another pantry in the brain. The pantry in our house is full. Younger Vitale, pantry, Palare, Naranirikin. House. House and all, Thomas a salam. The other Kalum Manalum is to under Lander Michauru, Idam. We have a house in Bangalore. Bangalore in Yangal Kuru, Vidund. Home. Home means the staying place with love and affection. Kudumbam. That is Sne home. Parigada name. Ellam affection. Ellam ulla oridam. That is our normal home. Ennu parin. Kudumbam. We celebrated Diwali in our home. Yengal. Yengal da kudumbathi thanne Diwali aagoshichu. Next one. Thatched roof or thatch means the roof made of straw. That is all agatiya vida. All all avandu daakiya mail kura. Poor people's cottage roofs are made of thatched roof. Power pete aalgalde mail kura. Weed in the mail kura endu the odd of varki ondo malla. All a gundu mainj daayri ki. Next one porch or portico means the entrance of an house or an office. Or weed in theyo office in theyo munvasham. Alengil karanu varin the salam. I parked my car at the portico of his house. Yaan ende car avende. Portico, Porchil, Park Chedrikiana, and Nana Paranirikin. Panamal in the Ganda, kinds of living places. Paladarate, Thamsik in the Nula, Idangal, Kudel, Pakal Adatha Classical Kanam, thank you. Askaram, welcome to ISN American Spoken English in Chennai. English to Telugu version, Practical Grammar Pustakam, page number Rendu and the Ladab by Mudu, Rendu and the Ladab by Aru, video number Nota Aru, chapter Irwayakuti, Manakiroyakuta Patam Yenti and Te. Kinds of living places human being live. Rakarakala salala yoka perlu. A rakarakala salala yoka perlu deni kupiogi stamayante. Prajalu news inche salani bati. A peru ni upiogi stam. What any English lay mantara ikurchudam. Padori o jesi cottage or cot. Cottage or cot means a small living hut. Woka chinna. Puri goodies in Gurinchi, a pinna like a put a pink goody lupuri goods in the water in Gurinchi, cottage or cot, anantam. Then Gudano Jesarki, poor people in slums live in a cottage. Pay the Walu, Nivisinche, Ilan Gurinchi Manuin Chaptamante, Walu, Puri Logani, Pengutil Logani, Pay the Walu Nusis Saru, Anadan Gurincha Pranke, cottage or cot, Anapadan Upiogisam. Next, Har Harem. Harem means a place private for women. Yes, Salan Loite, Sri Lunus in Jess Salani Gurinchi Japadani Kikra, Horem, Anepadani Upiagistam, Dani Gudano Jesser in the King's Palace, we see Horems. Rade Rajriaka Rajriaka Cotal Lo, Ranilu Vergo separate Ga Oka, Antapuran in Imin Chuntargada, Rajriaka Cotal Lo, Ranliak Antapurani Gurinchip, the Manam, Horem, Anepadani Upiagistam, next, next Bangla Bangla means. One floored house. Anaga, Woke Woka, Floru, Ante Woke Woka, Flor, Matrame Undi, Danipaina in Gate twenty floors, Eight twenty, Ilulekunda, Woka single house Ganaka Unte, Dan Gurin Chapranke, Bangla, Anepadan Upiogista, Dan Gudana Jesaki, we live in a Bangla in Chennai. Chennai lo, Walu, Woka, Intlo, New Sister, Woke Bangla, Inca, Intipaina, Inco Kilemi Ledu, Anadan Gurin Chapranke, Bangla, Anepadan Upiogista, next dormitory. Dormitory means a place for many, a place for many to rest and sleep. Chala mandi vektulu nidrapoe visranti tiskune salani gurin chapadanki visranti tiskune salana chala mandi ganaka visranti tiskunte dani gurin chapadanki dormitory anepadani upiogistam dani gudana jesarki in school hostel I lived in a dormitory. Nenu school la chadukune tapudu nenu woka a hostel lo. A hostel of Chala Manduntaru, Andran Kalisi, Nimisinchevala, Manedan Gurincha Pranki, dormitory, Anepadanu Pyogisam, next garage. 
గరేజ్ మీన్స్ ఏ ఫామ్ హౌస్ ఒక ఇల్లు ఒక ఫామ్ హౌస్ కనుక ఉంటే ఒక దాని గురించి చెప్పడానికి గరేజ్ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం దానికి ఉదాహరణ వచ్చేసరికి వీ హ్యావ్ గరేజ్ ఇన్ అవర్ ఫామ్స్ వాళ్ళ యొక్క స్థలాల్లో వాళ్ళకి ఫామ్ హౌస్లు ఉన్నాయి అనే దాని గురించి చెప్పడానికి గరేజ్ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం నెక్స్ట్ హాస్ పైస్ హాస్ పైస్ మీన్స్ ఏ ప్లేస్ వేర్ ద డెస్టిట్యూడ్ అండ్ హౌస్లెస్ స్టే ఎవరైతే ఇల్లు లేని వాళ్ళు లేకపోతే ఉండడానికి కానీ లేకపోతే తినడానికి కానీ ఇల్లు లేని వాళ్ళు ఉండి నివసించు ఇల్లు లేని వాళ్ళు నివసించే స్థలాన్ని గురించి చెప్పడానికి మనం హాస్ పైస్ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం నెక్స్ట్ స్కై స్కాపర్ స్కై స్కాపర్ స్కై స్కాపర్ మీన్స్ టాల్ బిల్డింగ్ విత్ మెనీ ఫ్లోర్స్ పెద్ద బిల్డింగ్లో రకరకాల ఒక ఇరవై కానీ ముప్పై కానీ అంతస్తుల బిల్డింగ్లని ముప్పై నలభై అంతస్తుల బిల్డింగ్ల గురించి చెప్పడానికి మనం స్కై స్కాపర్ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం దానికి ఉదాహరణ వచ్చేసరికి ఇన్ ముంబై వీ ఫైన్ మెనీ స్కై స్కాపర్స్ ముంబై ముంబైలో చాలా పెద్ద పెద్ద ఇరవై ముప్పై అంతస్తుల బిల్డింగ్లు చాలా ఉన్నాయి అనే దాని గురించి చెప్ప చాలా చూడవచ్చు అనే దాని గురించి చెప్పడానికి మనం స్కై స్కాపర్ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం నెక్స్ట్ మోనెస్టరీ మోనెస్టరీ మీన్స్ ఎ ప్లేస్ ఫర్ బుద్ద బుద్ధ హిస్ట్ మేల్ మేల్ మాంగ్స్ టు స్టే ఏ స్థలంలో అయితే బుద్ధ మతానికి చెందిన మగ పురుషులు నివసిస్తూ ఉంటారో ఆ స్థలాన్ని గురించి చెప్పడానికి మోనెస్టరీ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం దానికి ఉదాహరణ వచ్చేసరికి మెనీ మోనెస్టరీస్ ఆర్ దేర్ ఇన్ నేపాల్ మనకి నేపాల్ నేపాల్కి వెళ్ళి చూసినట్లయితే చాలామంది బుద్ధ మతానికి చెందిన పురుషులు మాత్రమే నివసించే స్థలాలు చాలా ఉన్నాయి నేపాల్లో అనే దాని గురించి చెప్పడానికి మోనిస్టరీ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం నెక్స్ట్ పెని పెంచరీ పెంచరీ మీన్స్ ఎ పర్సన్ ఫర్ ఫర్ స్మాల్ క్రైమ్స్ పెంచరీ మీన్స్ ఎ పర్సన్ ఫర్ ఎ సారీ ఎ ప్రిజన్ ఫర్ స్మాల్ క్రైమ్స్ ఏ ఏవైతే చిన్న చిన్న కుట్రల కుతంత్రాలు జరిగే స్థలం గురించి చెప్పడానికి మనం పెంచరీ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం దానికి ఉదాహరణ వచ్చేసరికి దెర్ ఆర్ ఓన్లీ టూ పెంచరీస్ ఇన్ చెన్నై చెన్నైలో ఒక రెండు కుట్ర కుతంత్రాలు జరిగే ప్లేస్లు రెండే ఉన్నాయి అనే దాని గురించి చెప్పడానికి పెంచరీ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం నెక్స్ట్ హోవెల్ హోవెల్ మీన్స్ ఏ స్మాల్ హట్ ఒక చిన్న గుడిసెను గురించి చెప్తే హోవెల్ అంటాం మెనీ సెయింట్స్ లివ్ ఇన్ హోవెల్స్ చాలామంది సెయింట్లు ఆ చిన్న చిన్న గుడిసెల్లో కానీ చిన్న చిన్న ఇల్లుల్లో నివసిస్తారు అనే దాని గురించి చెప్పడానికి హోవెల్ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం నెక్స్ట్ ఇరవై వచ్చేసరికి లాడ్జ్ లాడ్జ్ మీన్స్ ఏ టెంపరీ ప్లేస్ టు స్టే మనం నివసించేదానికి కొన్ని రోజులు లేకపోతే ఒక రోజు కానీ రెండు రోజులు కానీ ఆ స్థలంలో నివసిస్తే దాని గురించి చెప్పడానికి లాడ్జ్ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం దానికి ఉదాహరణ వచ్చేసరికి వీ స్టేడ్ ఇన్ ఎ లాడ్జ్ వాళ్ళు ఒక రెండు రోజులు ఏదో అవసరానికి పని ఉండి వేరే ఊరు వచ్చి వాళ్ళు లాడ్జ్లో ఉన్నారు అనే దాని గురించి చెప్పడానికి లాడ్జ్ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం నెక్స్ట్ శాంతి శాంతి అనగా ఏ క్యాబిన్ ఒక ప్రత్యేకమైన గది కానీ లేకపోతే ఒక సపరేట్గా కొంత స్థలం ఒక క్యాబిన్ కనుక ఉంటే ప్రత్యేకంగా దాని గురించి చెప్పడానికి శాంతి అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం ఇన్ ముంబై వీ లివ్డ్ ఇన్ ఏ శాంతి ముంబైలో ఒక సపరేట్ రూమ్లో లేకపోతే ఒక ప్రత్యేకమైన క్యాబిన్లో నివసించాను అనే దాని గురించి చెప్పడానికి శాంతి అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం నెక్స్ట్ యాడ్ యాడ్ మీన్స్ ద ఓపెన్ ప్లేస్ నియర్ ద హౌస్ మనకి ఇంటి పక్కన ఖాళీ స్థలం ఉంటుంది కదా ఇంటి చుట్టూ కానీ ఇంటి ముందు కానీ ఇంటి పక్కన ఉండే ఖాళీ స్థలాన్ని గురించి చెప్పడానికి యాడ్ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం దానికి ఉదాహరణ వచ్చేసరికి మై చిల్డ్రన్స్ వర్ ప్లేయింగ్ ఇన్ ద యాడ్ మా పిల్లలు ఇంటి పక్కన ఉన్న ఖాళీ స్థలాల్లో ఆడుకుంటూ ఉంటారు అనే దాని గురించి చెప్పడానికి యాడ్ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం నెక్స్ట్ థ్రెష్ హోల్డ్ థ్రెష్ హోల్డ్ మీన్స్ ద స్టెప్ అట్ ద ఎంట్రన్స్ మనం లోపలికి లోపలికి రావడానికి అడుగు పెట్టే కుడిపాదం పెట్టే దాని గురించి చెప్పడానికి మనం థ్రెష్ హోల్డ్ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం దానికి ఉదాహరణ వచ్చేసరికి ద బ్రైవ్ ఈజ్ సపోజ్ టు కీప్ హర్ రైట్ ఫుట్ అట్ ద థ్రెష్ హోల్డ్ ఆఫ్ హర్ ఇన్ లాస్ హౌస్ వెన్ షీ ఫస్ట్ కమ్స్ టు హర్ ఇన్ లాస్ హౌస్ ఎవరైతే పెళ్ళ పెళ్ళై ఉంటుంది కదా పెళ్లి కూతురు మొదటిసారి అత్తవారింటికి వచ్చినప్పుడు తను కుడికాలు పెట్టి లోపలికి వస్తే దాని గురించి చెప్పడానికి మనం ఇక్కడ థ్రెష్ హోల్డ్ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం నెక్స్ట్ బాల్కనీ బాల్కనీ అనగా ఎ రెస్టింగ్ ఆర్ రిలాక్సింగ్ ప్లేస్ విచ్ ఈస్ ఫామ్ ద వాల్ ఆఫ్ ద బిల్డింగ్ మనం 
ఆ గోడ పక్కన వరండా లాగా విశ్రాంతి తీసుకోవడానికి మనం కొంచెం స్థలం ఉంటుంది కదా చైర్లన్నీ వేసి కొంచెంసేపు విశ్రాంతి తీసుకోవడానికి బాల్కనీ లాగా ఉంటే ఓపెన్ ప్లేస్లో వరండా ఉంటే ఆ వరండా వాటిని గురించి చెప్పడానికి మనం బాల్కనీ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం దానికి ఉదాహరణ వచ్చేసరికి ఐ వాజ్ రిలాక్సింగ్ ఇన్ మై బాల్కనీ నేను మా వరండాలో కొంచెంసేపు విశ్రాంతి తీసుకున్నాను అనే దాని గురించి చెప్పడానికి బాల్కనీ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం నెక్స్ట్ గరేజ్ గరేజ్ అనగా కార్ పార్కింగ్ ప్లేస్ కారులు పెట్టే స్థలాన్ని మనం గరేజ్ అంటాం ఐ పార్క్డ్ మై కార్ ఇన్ ద గరేజ్ నేను నా కారుని అక్కడ ఆ కార్ పెట్టే స్థలంలోనే నిలిపి ఉంచాను అనే దాని గురించి చెప్పడానికి గరేజ్ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం నెక్స్ట్ ప్యాంట్రీ ప్యాంట్రీ అనగా ఏ ప్లేస్ వేర్ వీ కీప్ ద ప్రొవిజన్స్ లైక్ రైస్ వీట్ షుగర్ మనం ఏ స్థలంలో మన ఇంటి దగ్గర ఏ స్థలంలో అయితే చక్కెర గోధుమలు బియ్యం ఇవన్నీ పెడుతూ ఉంటాం కదా ఇళ్ళల్లో కొన్ని స్థల ఇంట్లో కొంత దగ్గర ఆ ఇంట్లో మనం ఆ చక్కెర బియ్యం గోధుమలు పెట్టే స్థలాన్ని గురించి చెప్పడానికి మనం ప్యాంటరీ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం నెక్స్ట్ హౌస్ మీన్స్ ఏ ప్లేస్ టు స్టే మనం ఏ స్థలంలో అయితే నివసిస్తూ ఉంటామో మనం ఒక ఇంట్లో నివసిస్తూ ఉంటాం కదా దాని గురించి చెప్పడానికి హౌస్ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం వీ హ్యావ్ ఎన్ హౌస్ ఇన్ బెంగళూర్ బెంగళూరులో నాకు మాకు ఒక ఇల్లు ఉంది అనే దాని గురించి చెప్పడానికి హౌస్ అని అంటాం నెక్స్ట్ హోమ్ హోమ్ అనగా ద స్టేయింగ్ ప్లేస్ విత్ లవ్ అండ్ అఫెక్షన్ మనకి ప్రేమ అనురాగాలతో కలిగి ఉన్న ఒక ఇంట్లో చాలా అన్ ప్రేమ అనురాగాలు కలిగి ఉంటే ఆ ఇంటిని గురించి చెప్పడానికి హోమ్ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం వి సెలబ్రేటెడ్ దివాళీ ఇన్ అవర్ హోమ్ మేము దివాళీ పండగని మా ఇంట్లో జరుపుకున్నాము నెక్స్ట్ టాచ్ రూఫ్ ఆర్ టాచ్ అనగా మనం తాటాకులతో కానీ కొబ్బరాకులతో కానీ ఇంటి పూరి గుడిసెలు ఇంటి పై కప్పులు నిర్మిస్తూ ఉంటాం కదా దాని గురించి చెప్పడానికి టాచ్ రూఫ్ ఆర్ టాచ్ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం పూర్ పీపుల్స్ కాటేజ్ కాటేజ్ రూప్స్ ఆర్ మేడ్ ఆఫ్ టాచ్ రూప్ టాచ్ రూప్ పేదవాళ్ళు నివసించే ఇల్లు ఎలా ఉంటాయంటే కొబ్బరాకులతో తాటాకులతో నిర్మించి ఉంటాయి అనే దాని గురించి చెప్పడానికి ఇక్కడ టాచ్ రూప్ ఆర్ టాచ్ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం నెక్స్ట్ పోర్చ్ పోర్చ్ అనగా పోట్రి పోట్రికో ద ఎంట్రన్స్ ఆఫ్ అన్ హౌస్ ఆర్ అన్ ఆఫీస్ మనం ఆఫీస్ ముందు కానీ లేకపోతే ఇంటి ముందు కానీ ఉన్న ఖాళీ స్థలాన్ని గురించి చెప్పడానికి లే ఏదైనా కార్లు కానీ ఏదైనా బండ్లు పెట్టుకుంటాం కదా ఇంటి ముందు కానీ ఆఫీస్ ముందు ఆ స్థలాన్ని గురించి చెప్పడానికి మనం పోర్చ్ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం ఐ పార్క్డ్ మై కార్ అట్ ద పోర్ట్రికో ఆఫ్ హీస్ హౌస్ నేను నా కారుని మా ఇంటి ముందు ఉన్న ఖాళీ స్థలంలో నిలిపి ఉంచాను అనే దాని గురించి చెప్పడానికి పోర్చ్ అనే పదాన్ని ఉపయోగిస్తాం ఇక్కడికి వచ్చేసరికి పదో మనం పది నుంచి ముప్పై కైండ్స్ ఆఫ్ లివింగ్ ప్లేసెస్ రకరకాల స్థలాల యొక్క పేర్లని మనం ఇక్కడ మొత్తం పది నుంచి ముప్పై చూసాం మిగిలిన కైండ్స్ ఆఫ్ లివింగ్ ప్లేసెస్ మిగిలిన స్థలాల యొక్క పేర్లని మిగిలిన తరగతిలో నెక్స్ట్ తరగతిలో చూద్దాం థ్యాంక్